Yo, what's up guys, today we are going to play Zero Chaos, we are playing as the Blood Elves, finally! I waited for so long to play this race. I think it's one of the most, like, one of the strongest races in game. So I'm really looking forward to play it, finally. Uh, what should I go for? The Orb of Fire is very amazing, uh, Source of Magic is the meta and I usually go for it all the time on any race. But there is also these amazing casters, like good against air units and they also have a heal. But I don't think Blatos need a heal, I don't think Blatos really need a heal, so... Uh, also people usually go for the Phoenixes. Mana 6 armor and the dust stack with uh, incinerating arrows. Source of magic. And you have 4 spells. You have also extra mana. Okay, I'm gonna play my meta, yeah. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna play seriously. I'm gonna play seriously. But if I were to say, yeah, it's either Source of magic. Phoenixes or Blood Priests. Like, either of these things are fine. Can't even lurk watching Twitch Zoom, just wants to talk. <laughs> True. Alright. We have Nage above us, we have below us Drenai, and we have the Night Elves. On the middle. Probably the most who I'm afraid of are the Drenais. Drenais? I know how to pronounce those. They are, in my opinion, the scariest to play against. They are too strong. Too strong. They have way more HP than my units. My melee unit has a 475, his melee unit has 600, okay? The difference is 125 HP. Like, that's literally ridiculous. Because of his uh, debuffs, yeah, I have a debuff in damage, I have a debuff in HP, but I have extra evasion and I have spell cooldown. Uh, the spell cooldown goes especially well with uh, Source of Magic, because I can reduce it even further. I can reduce it even further. Uh, funny enough, I got pushed by Naga uh, first. Naga is also a race that has extra HP, if I'm not mistaken, so... I'm surrounded by the people who are very strong. <laughs> well, I'm so weak. It's really bad. Can't, I can't even tell who is like stronger and... Who should I be more scared of? But he also has 600 HP units. Man, the HP difference, like, Jesus, we lose. Well, I feel like still like Drena are just a little bit stronger, so I'm gonna respond to them. With an upgrade on my barrack. I hope this part will not push me with his barrack, so we're gonna be fine. Just chilling. But if he will, well, I'm gonna match it anyway, so... On the middle I have a very nice, nice stack of units, but so does the Night Elf. Uh, one of us going to win it. He has Dryads instead of Archers, so we know already what the Night Elf's foundation is. Yeah, it was a right choice. This uh, Drena is very annoying, as you can see. My tier 2 barrack cannot actually outmatch his uh, tier 1. Okay, Victor also did upgrade on the middle, and he probably matched my barrack too. So now on we're gonna upgrade 3 times our damage, we're gonna go 1 upgrade on armor, and once we're gonna upgrade the casters. Yep. The, new the neutral buildings on this side are not that great. But like I said, I don't feel like Nage is actually stronger than Drenai early game. 
Uh, Drene have has like um, his upgrades on damage benefit to all units except for tier four and uh, tier three. So he upgrades his range units damage if he's gonna go for it. Uh, if like if the meta upgrades too. In the meantime, Naga... Naga has separate upgrades. So I guess that's like the difference between one and another. And when Naga is just a little bit weaker. I didn't want to launch the defense upgrade, but I don't know. I kinda want to cast spell once. Okay, fuck it, yeah. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I know, I'm not very sure why did I upgrade on the middle. I don't think I can hold it by any means. I'm probably the weakest link out of all these uh, four races early game. But, you know. If I would not, I feel like I would get pushed by the Night Elf and I would have upgraded uh, anyway. So, why not upgrade it earlier? Uh, tier frame mid. Doesn't make much sense to me either because my phoenixes benefit from the mana pool upgrades. I don't know. Sparta captured a neutral building. I wonder if that's to my side or not. We'll see about that pretty soon. If he did, then we drop every upgrade and we match it immediately. Because that is very scary. No, he didn't upgrade his barrack. To my side, he actually fast tagged to tier 2. So he upgraded his main to tier 2. And he got an uh, extra unit on each barrack. Which is this faceless overseer. And he is capable of capturing the neutral buildings. Very smart, very smart strat. By Sparta on Naga. Uh, then, yeah, I'm not gonna upgrade the barrack. Uh, he gonna have his neutral buildings for free, but, you know, I don't mind it, I think, because it's whatever. I really need to get upgrades and masonry, rather, because I'm very weak. Like, I, ca I can't be greedy, I can't be greedy. I'm pretty sure if I upgrade my tier 2 and he upgrades it as well, he gonna beat the crap out of me with few upgrades. Just don't know. My power comes from the tower upgrades. And I don't have any yet. Okay. Now getting the masonry. Pretty hungry, so don't mind me. The knight of was dominating in the middle, but now he is losing uh, because he pushed too far. So right now he is fighting four. I mean, he's fighting three people. I'm pushing from the left side. Naga is pushing from above. The Drena is pushing from the bottom. So he's gonna collapse and lose the middle control. And yeah, it's gonna be me or Drenai winning it now. We'll see. Question is, do I wanna go for more armor upgrades or not? Or should I rush tech? Let's play safe. I'm gonna get armor upgrades. I feel like blood also are very fragile. I don't like that. I'm gonna play like I'm playing with like um, a glass cannon. Well, in a sense, yeah, Blood Oath is indeed a glass cannon, so. I figured out what. Okay, so Sparta is playing also sorts of magic. And Victor. Okay, Victor is playing non sorts of magic, so it's a Dryad by Night Oath. Me and uh, Sparta playing sorts of magic. And I know what Victor is playing yet. We're gonna see. I kind of wonder, yeah. Because for, for the Renai, I don't think there are any viable choices except for the source of magic and probably an LT4. Two mercenary upgrades, early tier 2. Finally making upgrades on units. Only hero on the middle, alright. It might be related to that. 
Naga upgrade just to on me. Okay. Yeah, those and others are usually the worst early game. Are the worst. No, I feel like I feel like undeads actually are better than dwarves. I really like undeads uh, caster upgrade. I feel like undeads caster upgrade is one of the best in game. Like it's really good. Low summons are hurting a lot. I'm pretty sure if you if you like ever try to rush a caster upgrade on on that, like the as if you're sneaking game, you're gonna dominate all the lanes immediately. Really fast. Hi. I'm gonna rush my most important passives, they're gonna buff my units enormously. So first of all it's a unit each wave, so I can contest for with neutral buildings. I basically give gave them up to green, but with this uh, extra unit each wave I'm gonna contest. Then mana shield, it applies to 4 units or something, so all my units will have mana shield. Basically, extra flat HP, very great. And then regeneration. And now... Things starting to get interesting. Hey, do I want a hero on the middle? I think not yet. I feel like I'm, I'm actually cheering. My upgrades are very strong, so I'm pushing Victor 24-7, I'm holding the neutral buildings. And sa same thing can happen to Naga right now. So, I can get my gold from the neutral buildings and just beating the crap out of the units for now. Because they don't do upgrades. Gonna be enough. I don't want to overdo view, overdo units. So really, yeah, well, you really like checking out whether someone can upgrade the barrack. Neither will send a hero on the middle. Uh, Victor did upgrade uh, his middle to two three. All right. I got my mana shield. Very very nice. I got my regeneration aura. The regeneration aura is also insane. I really needed to be like uh, low too soon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you aren't going to die to blue, and blue gonna have like a lot of gold from the middle. Because it's so uncontested as of right now. Yeah, the plan is going to be simple. I, I'm getting second uh, caster upgrade. And then I will save up gold and go for the messenger as well in the same time. And I will do whatever like the game tells me to do. If green upgrades barrack to tier 2, I match it. If blue upgrades bottom barrack to tier 3, I match it. If nothing of this happens, I go tier 4 meet myself. I 
Uh, I will have to max out, by the way, Arcane Aura, Incinerating Arrows, one upgrade in a Blood Rage, and very late game I'm gonna max out uh, Blood Sacrifice. As I like the plans for the near future. Okay, so... Victor has 3-0 upgrades and 2 upgrades on casters. Naga has 4... 6-4 upgrades on melee, 0 upgrades on casters and 0 upgrades on ranged. Right. What special... What, spawn, what foundation did you pick? My foundation is source of magic. Um, extra mana for my sorks, arcane sanctum. And I get also various upgrades. I can upgrade my man, mains regeneration. I can upgrade uh, my unit spell damage. It is very strong. I also reduce, reduce the cooldowns. Still tears of Eric. Free masonry. He's going for four masonry. Okay. He's a mummy dev for a popular map called Full Frenzy. We are inviting popular streamers uh, to come check out our map and hopefully promote it to others. We'll be interested in checking out my Discord out. I'm in your Discord. What are you talking about? I just don't play those tournaments because they are not very in the right hour for me. Usually they are hosted for US time zone and I'm from EU. I do, I do like playing Food and Frenzy, but you require to have a decent team to pull your gold, so you buy Scroll of, scroll of the Beast, and then the Turtle, and then Scroll of the Speed, and then Healing Wars, and then you go Rifles, 14 for upgrades, and then and this and that. It's a very team-based game, yeah. Looks like no one upgrades on me. I like it, yeah. I like uh, non-aggression pack that I have so far. What do you think about the Phoenix? Uh, yeah, I feel like there are three value, like, uh, playable paths to go, foundations to go for as a blood elf. It's a blood priest, phoenixes, and source of magic. I just like source of magic a bit more. Because you can abuse the ultimate weapons with infinite mana regeneration. I have a fountain, I have extra mana as my passive, I have extra regeneration, so it's just insane. That thing is just insane. Uh, Victor did tier 3 on me. Uh, we're gonna match it. We are going to match it. As the first thing right now. Uh, he got so much gold from the middle. He got 3.3k gold from the middle. That's really a lot. Red got also a lot, but he did get a hero. And that hero died, so... I feel like we are equal. Me and him. But yeah, definitely victory is dominating. Okay, I matched his upgrade immediately. Now... Red lost his upper barrack. Huh. Alright. It might cause Green to upgrade his barrack, so I gotta watch out. Uh, Victor might upgrade his barrack to tier 4. I also gotta watch out for that. And yeah, I'm chilling. We are pretty much just chilling. I have some goal to react to any kind of aggression, yeah. Against me. There are still free upgrades on armor to go. Incinerating arrows are a must. Um, Arcane Aura is a must as well. But yeah. Okay, finally! Finally! His uh, middle push was uh, cancelled. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I, I go upgrade then. I still have a, a bit of gold in case he's gonna do something to me, but... Like tier 4 barrack, but yeah. I feel like I'm pretty much safe right now to go for upgrades. 
Yeah, it's not tier 4 yet. Nice. Because he has tier 3 on mid, I have tier 3 on mid. That's an ideal situation for me. And I'm winning, see? Like, my tier 3 wins against his tier 3. I don't need to overdo it, I think. I rather make the upgrades that I need so badly. Restart start making them. Dude, I'm rolling, like, I... Like, this whole time, I'm holding this tavern as a hostage. <laughs> That's very nice. Okay. I need, uh... My fifth upgrade on armor, please. Gimme, gimme. There you go. Okay, so coming at 6 5. Uh, one upgrade in the Blood Rage, second upgrade for HP regeneration, first upgrade for incinerating arrows. Yeah, I got very lucky that he's a hero and wave pushed uh, green finally. Now I can get some gold from the middle, because I'm stronger. Oh, he is actually getting stronger as well. He's uh, turning it around, huh? Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch out for a tier 4 barrack upgrade on my bottom. It's unlikely to happen, but still might. And red left the game. Okay. It's a tier 3 uh, mid from Naga and a hero and everything is coming to Victor on blue. Alright. Looks kind of scary to me. If I was him. Mm, should I say WAP? Or should I go straight incinerating arrows? Let's go incinerating arrows, yeah. Worst case scenario, I will just use my axe spell, like it's not a big deal. I have a very good regeneration on mana. Actually, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm just gonna use my axe spell. I, I don't bother, like I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna use my axe spell to defend. Uh, Sparta still has tier 1 on me. Yeah, that's very nice. We have this gentleman agreement. He has 6 life upgrades, no upgrades in ranged. Um, I thought he's dead. Semi dead. Like a tier 4 by Naga on the middle. Damn. Alright. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I might, I might not even need anything. Like, I feel like I'm fine with only Z spell usage. Oh, maybe not. Fuck. Four units is uh, 200 gold wasted. That's okay though. I'm in a good spot right now. I think. Uh, Arcane Aura level 3 would be nice, but it's okay not to get it as well. Let's use it again. I use Axe. Like, do I use Axe now? Like, why am I saving mana? Like, my mana regeneration is literally insane. I'm literally allowed to do whatever the fuck I want. So, if I want to use Expel, I should. Like, yeah, I know, is this damage justified that I take? Yeah, I wasted 300 gold already. Time to empower my casters. Less cooldown, more damage, less mana cost, extra duration for polymorph. Looking good, looking good. Uh, Nike is still on the middle. I gotta outweigh this. I wanna upgrade my tier 4 middle until that is gone. Yeah. There are a few of my units still tanking, so. I, I feel like I will end up using my Z spell three times. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Too greasy, too greedy. I had to use my X spell. I had to use my X spell. That was uh, way too greasy. 
Because he he made all his upgrades, I think. 6-5. Start even upgrading. No, it's a caster upgrade. What about your Yeah, he's almost like 6-6 on everything, so. Yep, he went for the item uh foundation. So whenever he summons a hero, he gets an item. Every four levels he gets an item. And every enemy hero kill he gets an item. Pretty OP, if you ask me. Pretty OP. Alright, is it Arkin or level 3? I'm getting incinerating arrows level 3, that's my favorite upgrade. It's AoE damage and armor reduction. Very OP. Pretty sure it's just uh, upgrades from main and then tech. Uh, I don't need mana regeneration yet. I don't have that much of a mana problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna just save up for tech. And also to respond to any aggression, like I said. These, these two guys are literally killing each other, I feel like. They are both tier 4 on the middle. Uh, they both sent a lot of heroes. So they're not very interested in me attacking them. But I can. If they're gonna if they're gonna act like I know aggressively, I can. Pretty sure it's gonna be a uh, tier 3 main. Uh, rush tier 4 caster upgrade. Then two mercenary upgrades. No, actually like rush ultimate weapon. Just for safety. And then like uh, just go mercenary. Because yeah, it's very hard for the blood elf to be able to get all these upgrades that I got on the towers. I'm pretty happy with them. It's a very, very nice situation for me. One upgrade in mana shield, one upgrade in blood rage, two upgrades in regeneration, three upgrades in incinerating arrows. Oh, I didn't get a bounce! Fuck, I forgot about the bounce. <laughs> Yeah, usually, man, you gotta you gotta get one low in the bounce. I forgot. Terrible play style. I don't think so. I mean, I have a very high win rate with that play style of mine. He responds with the hero. I guess because he doesn't have an upgrade for the barrack, or he doesn't want to waste his mana, or he just wants to farm the items, yeah. I guess he didn't upgrade his uh, barrack, so he doesn't have me the downs. That's great. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I really do. Yeah, I feel like it's a tier 3 casters. Actually, no. Maybe yes. Can I get an ultimate weapon research and a caster upgrade at the same time? Before he attacks me. I feel like I can. I feel like I can. So let's play greedy. First the caster upgrade, then the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Marat is actually dying to my units. Yeah, blood elves are pretty OP, you know? They escalate uh, pretty fast, so... But I think he's gonna overpush me. Soon. have a lumber mule for regenerating my buildings, that's pretty great. I'm gonna need like around two units, right? Let's make three. Tier 4 barrack! You don't want your hero to die that badly, huh? Alright, we're gonna match it. 
gonna save up now and match it immediately. I wanna buy any units. Too greedy. Map on the middle. Victor is slightly ahead. Okay, so Victor has the most gold and he has uh, 4000 more gold than me. But considering how many times he bought a hero, heroes, I feel like they approximately have the same amount of gold invested into the barrack upgrades and the uh, unit upgrades. So I would say I'm doing totally fine right now. Uh, I really want to get the Phoenix Spirit as fast as possible. That's like my most important upgrade. Like that. Yeah, I have more research than him. That and empowerment. And I'm gonna be like really, really strong after that. But like, yeah, I don't know. I might be too afraid of his push. He has 8 upgrades on defense. That's really scary. And the pushes are coming soon, kind of. I don't know. I'm not gonna risk it, yeah. Let's not risk it, fuck it. Let's get ultimate weapon and... Just prepare for the late game a little bit. I feel like we are doing fine. I'm not even sure if he's a tier 3, but he should be. By common logic, he should be tier 3 right now. Wait, did he send me two heroes? Yeah, he sent me two heroes for no reason. He's still tier 2. Alright. Let's repair. The repair is 2.5k HP. And it's missing a bit less than that, but... I think it's fine. I think that's pretty fine. Much fine. I'm that greedy that I actually don't even want to uh, summon heroes, if you ask me. I feel like I'm gonna do fine, just with the base defense I got. Oh, that was greedy. I'm gonna cancel it. Okay, I'm gonna re aggro his hero on my main. Now use the shockwave. And now I can channel my upgrade on casters finally. Change my mind. His hero with the items is too strong. I'm gonna respond with the hero actually. Yeah, Leandra is. Uh, Leandrin is one of the best tanks in the game, so. It's a very strong hero to send right now. I can still re-aggro his hero on my main, if I really want to. Let's do that. Where is he? There he is, motherfucker. Now, empowerment. Okay, we have tier 4 caster upgrade, and we have two empowerments for that. So the cooldown is reduced by a lot. Like, really a lot. I like that. Death to all who okay. Interesting. I am Azura. Ooh. I was to rule. What, what is that about? Okay. Victor is finally tier free on the on the main. Uh, yeah, I would love to have her king or uh, low free now, probably, or like a uh, blood sacrifice. Or should I go for first? Let's go for the let's go for the blood sacrifice, yeah, why not? Okay, well and is that. Let's go for the masonry. Need heroes so much experience. No heroes suck. You don't need experience on heroes, except for the super unit. The bounce, I did get it. One. Once. I don't think you need twice, cause the damage uh, loss per bounce is 50%, so the third 
the third bounce, the first damage, gonna deal only 25%, right? I don't know if it's any good. Oh yeah, yeah, I wasted mana, mana, I need to upgrade mana regeneration now. So we're basically to turtling in, we're gonna have 6 mercenary upgrades, we have unlimited mana regeneration, and we have repair and armor for the buildings. It's a turtle up strat. I'm being neutral with the Naga as well, so that's very good. Research that's very, very good. Uh, yeah, I wonder if he gonna summon a super unit right now. Because there is super unit from Naga coming to Victor already. So Victor is already on the spot. There is a push from me coming to him. And then there is a super unit from Naga coming as well. Naga has tier 4 barracks, so he also needs to match his barrack to tier 4 ACP. Lots of action, lots of action. Um, yeah, and... Me? In the meantime, I'm just chilling. He will have to use his X spell. Bam. Nice. X and Z spell in the same time. Okay, we take those. Uh, I feel like I need both. But it might, I might be too greedy. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna cancel them if he summons a super unit. I think it's okay. Sometimes, yeah, like, you lose around 25% of the gold if you cancel it, but I think it's fine. He summoned Wellen, but why? Oh yeah, because the red was pushing it, right? Yeah, I just, I'm just saying Wellen is likely to die. They're gonna explode, kill his entire army, and then it's a super unit against the hero. Watch. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. So he is dead and he gonna... Oh, he has resurrection? Kek. Alright. I didn't anticipate that much. Finally, Lady Leadrin died. I just... I don't know if I should upgrade uh, my barrack on me to tier 4 because... I don't know if it's any good to be honest. They're fighting each other so much that... I don't know. But on the other hand, yeah, I don't know why not, either. I got almost everything that I wanted. Uh, mana shield upgrades are a waste, in my opinion. Essence drain are a bigger waste. Blood rage is too bad, past low 1. Like, low 2 is the max, probably, but you wanna get it far, that far. Now I guess still tier 1 on me. Yeah. As it looks like right now, because of me and Naga not killing each other too much, it might be actually that we're gonna kill Victor first, and then we're gonna have a match down after that. I have a lot of gold. It's most likely gonna be a super unit. I need to level up with Bird really fast. Yeah. Supply Sacrifice level 2. Ideally it's gonna be level 3, but I don't know. Total gold. Back. Kind of far away. 3k gold difference. But like I said, he summoned his heroes around 6 or 7 times already. And I have summoned my heroes how many times? Once. So. I have all my gold invested into the upgrades. My units are 8-6, soon 9-6. Nine, nine, most resources. Super and kill the Velen. Low 12 Ashara, okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Akama is an uh, assassin hero, right? He has like illusions and critical strike. So he's pretty trashy. Like I feel like the guy is very bad actually. Not gonna be much of a threat. What items does he have? 2 armor, 1.5 HP, 5% attack rate. 
so free armor, a bit extra HP, and a bit of the extra attack rate. This wave is pretty bad. I have I have too much time, dude. I have too much time. Okay, maybe I should get the uh, blast sacrifice. I can get it a bit later, yeah. So ideally, my super unit will stand here in front of my barracks, so my base can support it. But the super unit gonna be the tank. Okay. It's ranged, so I gotta summon it a bit earlier. Like. Right now. Perfect. Nice. That's the aggro his hero on my base. Super unit against super unit. Alright. Um get more armor yeah dude I'm so rich I'm so rich I have everything that I want Jesus Christ I can improve the damage of my buildings nah yeah that would decrease the cooldown of my defensive spells maybe but it's not that unfortunately now I indeed want to level up heroes now. 41 minute, like, a late game is happening. Let's go. It's the Chaos time. Tier 4 barrack, tier 4 barrack, and I have tier 3, so... I need a bit of levels. Indeed. I wasn't saying, like, uh, levels are complete trash, and, that, and they don't matter at all. I meant that... Usually go for it... You never go for it like uh, too early in the game, unless it, you are really committing for the middle control, which I wasn't, so it's whatever. Let's get more armor. Let them fuck me. I might actually lose Kel <laughs> on the middle. 50 resources. Victor has 34 only! Why are your resources, mate? Where are your resources? Yeah, I know I've seen a guy going for the relic vault. He crystallized my super unit. Why is it me that you use your defensive spell against all the time? Why don't you use it against Naga when it pushes you? Yeah, man, it was a mistake. Fuck me. Monkey gold wasted. I'm pretty sure he's gonna die. With a double tier 4 barracks are too strong for Cal to handle. But there is a one good thing that will happen when he's gonna die. Unfortunately it's not a level 3 blood sacrifice, but a level 2 blood sacrifice. Doesn't work on the super units though. And heroes. But it's whatever I guess. Unless he will actually not die and I will upgrade my better middle to tier 4. My super unit is uh, unharmed after all this fighting. That's a nice thing. The cow is almost dead. But maybe we'll be saved the last second. Well, like I said, it's not a, th it's not a bad thing if he, if, he will, if he will die anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm killing his heroes. That's nice. And I wanna finish my final upgrade on defense. But yeah, let's launch a cheaper one. Killed his hero. Blood Mage died. Okay, blood sacrifice works now. Let's go boys! Plus 67 damage. Oh, maybe it was a... Uh, yeah, it probably was a blast sacrifice level 3, right? I think it was a uh, blast sacrifice. Because, like, this damage value is too much for it not to be. Well, let's say it's just as, a, as I planned. <laughs> Still tier 1. <laughs> yeah, like, the whole game, we're just tier 1 barracks on each other. Kek. 
Uh, yeah, let's go 9 to upgrade on armor. My burp is rampaging. So yeah, well, what what's now guys? Do hero levels actually matter that much? He has a almost max level hero. But still not being able to deal with my army and with my super unit. It's just the point, yeah, like heroes are very very expensive and each time you summon a hero you take 1k gold from your barracks and 1k gold from like uh, your upgrades and everything. I dumped my entire gold, everything that I had, I dumped into the upgrades. And it's kind of like a momentum rush right now. I like you two of his heroes. Kind of yeah, I'm kind of thinking uh, sending the, the super into the middle, but I feel like I'm gonna push Naga. I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't know who is winning, to be honest. Victor is definitely suffering because of me. His main is already half HP. He re-aggroed on it. Already for quite some time. Um, see, I feel like I'm cheating. The problem is that, like, I don't need that much gold, okay? Like, I have a lot of gold, but I don't need that much. Like, what do I upgrade now, even? Blood Rage level 2? Okay. Research finished. Like, uh, spell breakers. I hate spell breakers, yeah. They're gonna have defend. I don't like, uh, okay, one level in mana burn, so at least we have it. Like, mana shield gets upgraded by such a small value that I don't even know. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And just save up, yeah. We're gonna resummon the burp uh, back to the center. And probably is gonna be supported by Cal and uh, Leandra. It's gonna be a triple hero push, most likely. Nice items on Supreme you have. Each strength gives uh, 250 HP, so he has 1k HP from 4 strength, huh? Alright. I will need to re-aggro on my right tower. Save gold and upgrade your top barrack to tier 4 and summon... <laughs> yeah, I thought about it, but I don't know, dude. I'm not gonna be a bully like that much. I mean, I, I always have a gold to react if he does that to me. But... I don't know. It's kinda boring to play. When you just say FK, focus me. Uh, well, you were the first one to send me heroes. I mean, sure thing, mate. The guy was in range. Fuck. Well, maybe it's for the best. I don't fucking know. He's still gonna push, and I still will be able to reagro, most likely. I lost experience though. Can't reach him still? No fucking way. Yeah, you can. You can, you can, you can.
Just do what others tell you, so they don't baby rage. Yeah, he's a fucking baby rage, dude. I feel like I'm fine on the passives. The problem is that the gold is gonna be continuing to tick. And I will get more and more gold with the time. Naga has four more upgrades on armor to go for. Then it's fully developed. Uh, Victor has a lot of upgrades to go for, still. A huge amount. There's no mana. No, I mean he has mana, but like yeah. I thought he wasted his X power right now, but I guess he did not. His towers are crystallizing the super in. It's so OP. I think it, the chance is not that big, but still procs. That's really disgusting. To be able to stun a super unit is a uh, too OP. I missed the chance. I have to send hero right now. I would farm this hero. Fuck. It's bad. Yeah, I have too much gold. I keep on sending him my strongest hero, but Lady Leadrin is just like a very good tank. Shot and ultimate weapon. Okay. What's the best right now? This is not a threat anymore. I mean, it's still gonna be a super unit coming to my base, but yeah, blue is not a threat anymore. That's uncountable. So he gets a bit experience. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Okay, let's get these two researches. I can, I can start repairing buildings back. I can start repairing. I mean, I, I have to get use of my mana regeneration, which is insane. It's a mana plus double of his research. Daily Adrian is unkillable, as you can see. <laughs> she is so tanky. Blood sacrifice. Let's go. Gonna be super immune to me. Most likely. Alright. Well, maybe not. Maybe send even double hero on middle. This guy still has zero experience. Nah. I uh, cannot kill his super unit without using my super unit. Because he's not a threat, I don't want to send him anything now. I gotta save up my full power towards green. Probably I can if I kite properly. We'll have to use uh, the other though again. Yeah. Making some unreasonable resources too. Maybe bounce, another level in bounce. It also works for the towers, so. It's not only, it's only stork, but towers, I forgot about it. Ah, shit, man. I don't know. This look, uh, this thing looks very scary because it has uh, a lot of items and it's level 18, so. It will be kind of hard to kill. 
Well, like I said, no super units. Ideally. I am Azura. Because of that, yeah, see, like, and I will need super int there, most likely. What's your range, mate? 400. actually dying in the middle. What the fuck? So, I'm weaker than Naga or Draenei? How this wave is actually dying? Like, I don't get it. 400 attack range. Needs to be here, still. Okay, so it's gonna be this. Leandra. Can be come on, come on, re aggro there, yes. Problem is that he's range, so I don't know. Will you aggro? She aggroed. Nice. Nice. Okay, now I can focus only on top. Maybe we'll deal with him. Hopefully, at least. I have a lot of gold. Maybe, like, buy units or something? I actually don't know. That, that was kind of a waste, if you ask me. Reagro on my main. There you go. Yeah, I have too much gold. Just shouldn't waste uh, them all at once. I want to lose this tower. Will that, will that be considered dumb? Maybe I can out repair it in time. <laughs> Those heroes are strong. I think it's my base that is strong. I saved my tower. Nice too, nice too. No towers lost today. Okay, what can actually really make me stronger? Like, I don't fucking get it, dude. I don't fucking get it. Okay, let's go, let's go Spellbreaker low free. Marshall low free. Uh, Mizao's low free. And while low. Nah, restoration is so bad. It's like on each attack. They have extra. Like, I don't know, dude. Do they need it? I mean, they have regeneration, then plus that. But they have mana shield. They can't heal themselves when they have mana shield, right? It's a mana that gets consumed uh, first. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm so rich. Like, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm reasonably rich. Hey, fuck it, let's go. So it's gonna be my chicken and Cal, uh, half HP both. My other two heroes are uh, from that side. Okay, alright, okay. Wither has half of the mana. Green has half the mana, I have half the mana on my main. Probably will use the shockwave. Nail before your queen. It's a shadow again, okay. It's a super in from blue again. Haters, dude, haters. Look at them. Mm. 
Yeah, my super is dying really fast. I thought I was sending double hero from the bottom to the top, but I don't know about that. Uh, which push gonna be the scariest? Probably on top, right? Let's go top. Destroy the tower, very nice. Liadrin is just MVP. Unkillable hero. One female army. Can you can you call one man army regarding a female person? I don't know. Okay, blood sacrifice on my middle push. Very very nice. Blue is really dying. I will like just a little bit and he will totally collapse. I'm actually thinking about sending him triple hero push and defending top only using one hero. Is that 2 pm thing to do? Because like he, I feel like he's mad, like very mad, so he will keep on sending me this shit the whole game. It's much easier to get rid of him now and just focus on green. Agree? Like I'm thinking, I don't know. Um, I can get like a, his blood sacrifice. You do because you were about to leave from it from rage. And you are calling me to play through our chaos today like 10 times, begging me to host it. Of course you don't care, mate. Why would you? Can I reach you with my tower, please? Come on. It's actually risky. I feel like I'm playing with fire. Two super wings at my base and I'm just... Meh. <laughs> I, sh I should respect it more. I feel like... Any of my heroes dying? No? Right. Okay, let's tank with my barrack. Let's go. Barrack, the ultimate tank time. I can repair it after it. Get too much damage, fuck it. <laughs> the fuck dude? Your super unit is- Oh no, my heroes ditched me! Hello? Guys? Maybe you wanna help me with the defense? Okay, he came back, one guy came back. Dude, fucking teachers, like, what's wrong with you? Um. Alright, my hero is dead. Nice. Either top or bottom up is fine, so... Can I repair my barrack in this situation? The Adrian is tanking. I got a blood sacrifice. No, it's a uh, blood rage. Fuck. This is actually bad. Yo, I feel like yeah, I got I got very cocky. I'm trying to defend super unit like this. I don't know, fam. I 
feel like my land will die. Just kind of told me this. Sacrifice towers. I am Azura. I'm destined to rule. Please, please survive tower. No. Nah, I feel like I underestimated Sparta too much. <laughs> oh well. I hope you at this guy is doing fine. He went for the mana shield, kick. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck, I really wanted to re aggro them on the bottom. Now he's tanking with the main, and that's where I tank it because of the mana shield. Oh, 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 go, 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 go down. Nice. Good job, good job. <laughs> Tanking two super units just with the base and two heroes. Actual cack. Only zoom. Do such dumping. Go up! I can't re aggro it. <sighs> now my main. Come on, dude. Yeah, <laughs> life fucking sucks. It's such a trash strat, dude. Going for the mana shield. Yeah, mana shield is very OP. It absorbs 300 damage. Uh, ouch. It absorbs 300 damage per mana point. So he aggroed me to send him three heroes, and then he just turtled up completely. Fuck me, man. I should have not got you baited by this. I should have kept on fighting green. Well, I don't really need my main for upgrades. But yeah, I have no wave on my upper barrack now. That kind of sucks. Need to read a pro chat. Tower damage hello, up tower damage trade. I have full upgrades. Like, this is... Okay, I can get it. I can upgrade it, but it doesn't matter too much. So, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Agro is far compared to older versions, yeah. This survival game in the end? True. Dude, if I would just play it cool, and not send him triple hero push like I did... Like, fuck me, man. Why did I do that? That's such a stupid thing to do, to be honest. Like, he was already a dead guy. Like, I didn't need to push him even further. I just needed to focus on the green. I thought, like, I... Okay, so I thought I would send him triple hero. And he would die instantly, but he went for mana shield. The mana shield is just too broken. It's a uh, 300 damage, literally, so... Three hundred damage per mana. You just reaggro everything on your main, and you tank the whole wave. This is my last chance. If these guys will somewhat manage to destroy something at least, then we're all good. But yeah, if they will suck, then I don't know. Oh, it's a four hero push. 
He has no heroes. There are zero heroes there. And Victor is cacking me with his push. Come on, dude. I would be. I would finish him. What are you doing? I would finish him. I think. My heroes are full HP, so like. What's fucking wrong with you, dude? Why did you send your super unit middle now? <laughs> oh my god, that's Pepega. Armageddon next time, as a ultimate weapon. I could, yeah, but that's kind of PM. I don't know, dude. Alright, anyway. Quadruple hero push by green, supported by a small amount of units. Uh, there is one hero push with insane items by blue. I'm gonna defend against it, most likely. Okay, one tower is down. Dude, and we are fighting each other instead of killing him, you fucking dumbass. Why did you send your shit to him? I would destroy his base. So stupid. What the fuck is that, dude? I wanted to argue it left. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of understand that. The aggro is very bad here, so... Sometimes you wanna send it one side and it goes the other side. Okay, well then. I gotta keep on upgrading, cause like my gold is... Yeah. Let's go... Essence... Drain... It's aggro on my towers... Do I need a hero against this? Ideally I save up for something else... Ooh! Nice! 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 I still have a chance to win this game. Finally lost a barrack, cause he was like, he had all barracks, he had main base, he had everything, so. Oh yeah, Victor's mana has its limits. La barrack as well? Yo, my chicken is, uh... My chicken is insane. Alright, it's kind of looking risky. Middle barrack, but okay, he's... I feel like he's dying, and then it's gonna be super unit. Fuck. Yeah, man, I, I feel like I needed the hero. Maybe I did. I didn't. Oh, actually... Actually... I feel like I exactly know what I need to do. Okay, okay, let's go. That's my last attempt. That's literally my last attempt to win this game. So, it's gonna be my... Uh, Kel... And a chicken... Against his uh, Ashara. In the meantime, I have to defend against his upper... Oh no. He's gonna destroy my towers. Alright. Can I just survive? Come on, dude. If I just survive this, and that is pushing, I have a chance. Then I have a chance. Victor is still helping me with his OP hero with lots of items. Come on. He has a main and one barrack. I have no main and two barracks. I feel like he has like... Uh, I, I, I don't actually who has the upper hand. Because I don't save anything to top at all. I don't know, dude. I actually don't. I hope he summoned Ashara from this barrack. So it's gonna be on a cooldown. This wave also gonna be very slow. It will have to go all around the place. All around it. And some of the hero on middle, but it's gonna be only a bad thing to do. I can also summon Liadra. It's all on 3 minute cooldown. Nice. Oh! He lost his main! Huh? Yo, I think, I think we won! Yo, what the fuck? Yo, we won! <laughs> we actually won! With two barracks! Fucking crippled, dude, but... Hey, let's go!
<laughs> Team Mod. Oh my god, it's so good. GG.